Hey, it's Kasim with Solutions 8, and in this video, I want to talk to you about campaign groups. Uh, big shout out to Colin on my team, uh, who taught me, and uh, now I'm going to teach you. This is actually really cool. Uh, I'm really excited about it. So Google uh, allows you to group campaigns categorically based off of how you want to see them coupled. Um, a couple of rules here to note, not all of them are... Uh, really all that restrictive, but uh, one in particular struck me is any campaign using a shared budget can't be added to a campaign group, so that's really worth knowing. Um, and then you also uh, need to know that you can only add one, uh, each campaign to one campaign group at a time. And this won't make quite as much sense to you until you see how the campaign groups work. So let me show you how this functions. Uh, I'm inside of a, a campaign that has a ton, or I'm inside of an account that has a ton and ton of campaigns, uh, which is where I think campaign groups make the most sense. So um, when you're looking at your campaigns, if you click on that little more button that I just clicked on, you can select campaign groups and then group these campaigns according to how you want to see them compared. Now, this is an important strategic decision for you. So, you know, in this particular instance, we have a client that has um, different geographic regions and you can see that we took one geographic region here and we built a, a campaign group around all the campaigns that are targeting that specific geographic region but you could build campaign groups around um, you know different different targets different geographies different value propositions um, different CTAs it really depends on what campaigns you're running um, and how they're function you you could actually build campaigns based off of the type of campaign so you know I'm gonna I'm gonna group all my you know uh, uh, search campaigns in this geography. So, um, you know, if you have multiple locations or just different ways that you want to segment things, you can group those campaigns. But what's really cool already is we're seeing aggregated data for these campaigns. And this is also why Google can't have shared budget campaigns inside of campaign groups because that starts to get a little bit of, you know, a little muddy. Um, but you can see aggregated data um, according to the group and you can start to segment um, you know, the same way you would in a normal campaign, but you get to do that looking at a specified number of campaign groups based off of coupling that you've defined. So already super cool. Um, just the ability to kind of at a glance see what's working and what's not. Um, and then when you click into the groups, um, what's kind of cool is in your navigation here on the left-hand side, you'll notice that Google's given us um, additional navigation based off of the groups that we have defined. And then I can see the campaigns that have been added to this specific group. Um, but it actually gets even cooler. So let me back all the way out of here so I can show you what I'm talking about. Um, if I want to create a campaign group, um, a couple of things are going to happen. So first I'm just going to create test group um, and then I'm going to choose uh, these random groups. Um, you can add, you, you know, you can see any campaign that hasn't already been added to a group is accessible to us. Uh, but then, and we've got a couple of options here. So um, first we can choose uh, uh, different targets, um, which, you know, can get a little bit dangerous if you're not consistent across all campaigns. So uh, make sure that if you're, you're if you're choosing campaigns to compare that they're actually being measured in the same way, otherwise this data ends up being um, a little bit less uh, effective than you might think otherwise. Um, but Google's like, hey, how is it that we're gonna measure performance? Uh, more often than not, I imagine you're gonna be on conversion and conversion value. But there are use cases where you'd wanna see clicks or unique users. You know, if you wanna measure a campaign's efficacy as far as attracting new prospects or reach or those types of things. So uh, you get to choose how we're going to measure performance. But then, really interestingly, we get to choose the time frame for measuring performance, which I like too, because now we're going to sort of build Google's reporting around, um, you know, whatever it is that you're looking for. I think this is especially interesting for a specific timeline. So if you're one of those businesses that has, you know, let's say that the holiday season is really important to you, this might be a, a kind of a, a cool feature for you. Um, and then the other thing that I really like um, that. Uh, uh, unique to groups is this uh, ability to set a performance target that will then give us metrics and benchmarks that you can actually view um, and you know that's uh, again kind of expansive here so we've got uh, spend um, number of conversions average CPA um, and Google's given us I mean some some pretty solid uh, filtering capabilities let's say and what you'll notice is there's actually multiple you can apply multiple targets now be careful doing this because again if you don't know what you're looking at or if the data is muddy then it stops being a value so I think the simpler you can make this the better um, but I mean hopefully you can already kind of see start some of the opportunities just in terms of you know seeing what it is that we're looking at comparing campaigns against each other trying to identify what campaigns are the best for specific goals. Uh, I'm not gonna save this because this is a real client and I don't want to create a real group for them. Um, but yeah, I hope that was helpful. Um, 
check out groups, play with it. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you're using groups in a specific way that I didn't mention, let me know. You know, maybe you can teach me something. Uh, other than that, I hope this video was helpful. Thumbs up, subscribe, like, comment, all the things. I will see you tomorrow.